hi welcome to my youtube channel my name is alice rita and if you are new here welcome to my channel and to all my sus returning subscribers thank you for always coming back thank you guys i really appreciate your comments your likes and today's tutorial is going to be about batch processing and i'm recording this video on batch processing it's more of a continuation of my last video on image j here in my last video in my last video i recorded a video or a tutorial video on how to automate image processing with a single click and in that video i showed how to record a script that's recording your step-by-step -step processing of one of the of your analysis so that you can then use the script that you generate in doing today's batch processing and batch processing means that script would be applied to every images that you have in your folder that you want to analyze unfortunately i'm unable to show you how to use the image directly from the microscope that's the leaf file images if you work with my uh, confocal laser if you work with like a confocal microscope you will note that the images usually comes out as a leaf file and in the leaf file format the leaf file format contains several images stacked together into a single file format so you can see this single uh, image file contain about 20 different about 21 different images in it so because i'm unable to do that for my batch processing i've generated a folder that has a single image uh, file so each of these are single images and what we are going to be doing today is to add scale bar to them for people that are working with other image type, like maybe trying to measure a line scan or things like that, you can record your script first and then follow with this process today. Because I've generated the maximum projection of the image from my confocal images, what I have done is to uh, prepare a script to calibrate, to set the image scale bar, which normally you can do by going to analyze set scale so the scale of the image i'm going to be working with is this 13.187 let me not take much of your time explaining this uh, script if you want to know how to record the scripts please watch this my last uh image tutorial video it's really it has helped some people from the comments they find it uh, useful so i hope you also find it useful okay to do our batch processing we have to go to process here batch and then you click macro this because the what the macro would well we are going to be adding the macro that we've generated into this empty white box so this is the script that i've generated i'm going to copy it and paste it into the white box that is provided I'm going to define my inputs. My input is the folder that contains the images that I want to work with. And in this case, it's in this text, I call it text puncta. And these are my images here. So that's my input. An output folder is the folder you intend to save your images into. If you have not already generated a folder, you can create a new folder using the new font folder function. I've already created a folder that I want the result to go into. So this is my macro result. You can see it's empty. So that's going to be the folder of the uh, 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 processed images are going to be saving into. To know that if this script is going to work, you can first do a test run. And with the test run, can you see that it immediately generates the scale bar from the image? I can show you the image, the from the folder the folders were without scale but when i created them you can see so when i did the test run it's used my scripts to generate a scale bar for that image 
and if you don't want your scale bar to be white maybe you just okay do your last minute edit to the map or to the script you've written you can easily change this to green you tell it to test you see it changed the white to green so if you're having extra if you want to do last minute modification to your script you can always do that if you want your font size to be maybe to be bigger than this that is here you can click to make it bigger if you think that the scale bar of 20 is not what of 10 is what you want maybe you want a 20 you can increase that width it will draw it and it will you see the modification has been applied so i'm going to be putting back this script to what it was when i pasted it i want a white scale bar so i'll click on test this is what i want and those images are going to be saved into this folder called macro results you can see that we don't have anything here and because we are content with the test run we just tell it to process and you can see as it is processing you can see this very quick analysis that has generated the results in less than a, a minute let me not say a second so i'm not exaggerating you can see that it's really quick to automate image processing with this you would have saved yourself one hour of processing each of them and saving to the folder so if you find this tutorial very useful please subscribe to my channel write in a comment if this tutorial has helped you click the like button if there's a particular analysis you are planning to do and you're having challenges going further with this analysis please write in the comment section i'm happy to take a look for you and please if i reply very late please do not be offended as i'm in my final year i'm about to start writing my dissertation my phd dissertation so i will be online once in a while but not most time so don't forget that to record your macro if you are just starting and you are feeling too lazy to go back to the video that i showed you that i recorded the last time although it's in well it's in good detail i can quickly show you just all you have to do is go to your plugin macro and then record so with the record whatever it is that you want to do let's for instance you want to open the sample that i worked with earlier um it's in the yes here sorry about that so here if you tell it to open why am i able to pick this sample so now i told it to open it's taking time hmm. it's interesting okay so when i said open it you can see that it's going to open the image file let us know i select all and then i said okay you can see that this macro has recorded the script all you have to then do is create scripts that way you have your script so please come back to my channel and watch more of my tutorials and if there's something you want me to do for you please leave it in the comment section i hope you find this tutorial useful once again thanks you for thank you for watching bye